Hi, my name is Matthew Hensley, and this is my video regarding semantics. So, originally I didn't know what a semantic was when I read this assignment, so I looked it up, and it says that a semantic is relating to meaning and language or logic. So, initially I didn't know what that meant. I just, a couple words thrown together, I was kind of lost. So, I started doing a little diver deeping and read some things on what a semantic actually was and some examples of it. And one that I could relate to, personally, was the other day after hockey practice, um, one of the, one of the guys on the team needed a charger. Well, he had the cord, but he didn't have the cube, the block, whatever you want to call it. So someone said, "Hey, um, do you have a do you have a cube?" And someone's like, "It's well, it's, what's a cube? I've never heard of a cube before. You mean the block that goes on the end of it?" And someone else chimed in and said, "Oh, it's not called a block. It's actually called a brick." So we had this huge argument on what people call it, a block, a brick, or a cube. And we actually ran a poll on Instagram just to see what it was but at the end of the day it's still that piece of charger it's still a charger and whether you call it a cube a brick or a block um, that was just one story that initially popped in my head right away when I started looking up examples um, another example I thought of with hockey was we were in class the other day and we were talking a couple of us guys and someone said that was that was a good saucer pass you had today and someone who didn't play hockey didn't understand what a saucer pass was they said wasn't that just a, a, a pass? Why do you call it a saucer pass? And we call it a saucer or sauce because it looks like an elevated saucer as it goes through the air. Now, for someone who doesn't play hockey, they wouldn't realize that when we say, oh, that was a good sauce. That actually meant that was a pass. So that that was another example that popped into my brain as well. And then the, finally, the last example I had was watching uh, Monday Night Football. Everyone you know, calls a football pigskin, but... Um, just just sitting around and talking with the guys, people say, "Oh, that's a good, you know, that's a good ball." Or let's go throw the pigskin. People from other countries may not realize that, or may not um, recognize we're talking about football. So that example popped in my head. But before this assignment, I did not know what a semantic was at all. And uh, after looking it up, looking it up um, examples, the examples I found talked about like a child could be called a child, daughter, son, um, kid. There's a bunch of different names for it, but at the end of the day, it's still not a child. And that's what the, the cube or the block for the iPhone charger meant to me, the sauce or the saucer pass, or the football or the pigskin. So those three examples really stood out to me the most um, when doing this assignment. And thinking about the speech, I didn't really know what a semantic was, like I said. But um, those three things instantly popped in my head and made this assignment um, easy, fun, and I learned something out of it. So that was... Uh, very good thing for me personally.